hope you can hear me over the wind. This is a trapping video, is in trapping wild animals. Now, if you're not into something like that, please do not watch. If you are, come along with me. I want to show you some of the last catches of the uh, 2021 season. So uh, stay tuned. And also, I'm going to show you uh, the slip that's taken my driveway out. And uh, also, someone asked me uh, how I cut the uh, spring pins off of uh, my new traps. And I'll uh, give a demonstration on that too. So uh, stick around. Let's go. Winter Wonderland. Still know a bunch of people that ain't got power back on. We was lucky so far. Ours has stayed on, but uh, still trees coming down. Uh, hard to keep traps operational in this weather, so I only got a few sets out down the lane. It's pretty though. All right, later, folks. I was out doing some scouting and ran into these wild horses back here. Been running back here um, in this country for several years now. Probably the last 10 or 15, maybe even 20. And you see groups of them from time to time. They're not real wild, but uh, they also aren't real tame. All right, I'm keep going later, folks. Down here on Spring Fork uh, location, I've trapped off and on over the past probably seven years. Um, had a dog-proof coon trap over there; it was empty, and I put a dirt hole set in here yesterday because we just came through a big ice storm and you couldn't keep traps working. So that had me locked up for about a week, and uh, I said I put a dirt hole set in yesterday. We got this cat. Nice one, decent sized tom. Oh, good belly on it. Not great spot, but still, it's a cat. So uh, we'll take it. Um, that should tag me out on cats. Um, my wife also has her license. So. All right, get this critter out of the trap and I'll probably remake this. Uh, got a few more days left. Uh, we're supposed to get a bunch of rain. I uh, want to get a few beaver sets out, but I'm not going to. I don't know if I want to get to do that or not. But uh, We'll see. <clears throat> it's really warm weather. so Anyway, I got to get going. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, in the dirt hole set was uh, a blue cheese bait, Caven's Canine Force, and some Minnesota Red, and I think a little Yodel Dog. So, and some Red Fox urine on that tree there. All right. I'm down here on Spring Fork, and uh, had a couple sets in this spot. Got a dog proof there. And I had a caster mound set over here on the bank. And I got a big beaver in that 1216. Must have it by the foot. So uh, that looks like a huge one. I'm going to have to try to dispatch it. So uh, hang on and I'll be back. So I got it out of there. Uh, got it by a front foot. 1216 JC. That's a decent one for sure. Pretty good sized. So, uh, there's a pond down there. I'm going to go check it out and uh, see if there are any beeves in it. But uh, I'll get this one loaded up and uh, get on down the line. So, uh, stay tuned. Down here on Spring Fork again. And... Uh, just caught a beaver over there yesterday and I had a uh, dog proof set over here on the bank. And we got a coon in it. He's uh, kind of in the water so I will do a dispatch and uh, get that critter out of there. Well, there it is on the bank. Um, honestly I can't remember what 
type of uh, dog proof that is. Held it quite well though. So get this one loaded up and uh, get back on the trail. So had a bunch of timber come down. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I cut this tree out of the way. Um, but uh, there's what's left of the driveway. I take a four wheel across it, but probably not the safest thing to do. It's like standing here with this timber leaning this way. <clears throat> Had a guy come out and look at it, and uh, he said it would cost a hundred thousand dollars to fix this. And uh, I checked my change jar, I don't have that much laying around, so. <laughs> I think uh, we're going to maybe look at uh, getting a road cut, uh, maybe up past the chicken coops or something. I, I got to get that guy back up here that has the equipment. But yeah, you can see that timber land, it's just a matter of time till those trees come down. Yeah, this is pretty much uh, a lost cause, which is a shame, this road's been here. 50 or 60 years. But, uh, the company don't want to take responsibility for it. I'm not paying for it, even if I could. So uh, we'll just find another way. That's what you got to do. So uh, we got to get out to civilization, get a few supplies. And, uh, we'll catch you all later, let you know how it's going. Used to be a decent driveway. Not so much now. All right, real quick. Uh, here's what happens if you don't cut the pins off. And as you can see, I didn't do it on these uh, Bridger Number Two Douglas. Uh, sometimes that pin will get bent up there, and your pan won't function, uh, which is a pain, especially if you're out in the field. So the remedy for that is I'm going to start doing this with all my new traps. Like this Duke 550. I'm just going to guess at what length you should leave them at. I'm going to mark these at half an inch. Um, be less leverage for the critter to do any damage. And then, with these wire cutters, I bought these cut concrete wire, but they're handy for other stuff too. Namely, something like this. not sticking in enough to get bent now so that's all there is to it um, a bit to these other traps same thing because you can just guess at this it don't have to be exact but you really want those out of the way and I actually think I read on those 550s the MB550s, they recommend you cut them off if you're not going to double the spring on them. And that's it. So, you get the idea. Not much to it. You could use a hacksaw or a bimetal blade and a sawzall, but it's hard to hold them unless you had them in a bag. Anyway, that's how it's done.